Sticking with one color palette in your home sound intimidating, not if it's done right. In fact, a mono scheme can add richness and depth to your decor. In today's Inspired Living, we visit a luxury model home put together entirely by Bears designer Janet Graham. Janet took us to a model home in Naples Square to show us some of the beautiful work that you did at, at Bears. Everything in here, I guess, you did from the ground up? We did. We started even before the uh, building was up and uh, started from slab and, and picked all of the hard surfaces, all the soft surfaces, and uh, in about a year after all of those were picked out, voila, we have our new model at Ronto Square. It's beautiful from all the, the furnishings and everything else that you selected, and you can't help but notice that it has a very monochromatic color palette. What are some of the benefits of that? Uh, neutral color palettes. Um, Everyone seems to like a neutral color palette. And uh, also when you have the absence of color, there's certain things that uh, the absence of color does. It uh, brings your textures and your, your services uh, more alive. It also accentuates your furniture lines a lot more. If uh, we had a lot of bold colors in here, you wouldn't see all of the, uh, the different furniture styles and textures uh, as you know, um, come out to you as uh, as you would if it was uh, a neutral color palette. For example, this chair right here, when you walk in, you see the lines of that chair quite vividly because of the neutral color palette around it. And it also, especially for a space that's a little bit on the smaller side, it really gives it a lot of room. It does, it does. Even though this is in a real large area, um, it seems a lot larger than it is because of the, the color palette. Now, some people that might be afraid of going really with all one color family, you said you can really vary it up with the seasons, however you want using accessories? You can, because maybe five, six years ago when it was a, another color palette that everybody wanted, maybe the lighter blues, and now we're in the darker teal blues, um, we can easily uh, change the color palette of the room by just changing a few rugs, pillows, napkins, pictures and voila you've got you've done a beautiful job now is this a very common color palette for florida southwest florida in particular because it is so light and airy i would say so i think the neutrals always reflect the sand and uh, the earth tones so whether we have a, co uh, a color base i think uh, the neutrals always play a big part as far as um, design in, in florida well you've done gorgeous work and well, people have to come you. out and take a look at it thank in person you. thank you very much janet